to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please 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 hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time that I upload. Also we finally hit 500 subscribers and I'm so happy. It was my goal for 2020 to hit 500 but a few days over into 2021 isn't gonna hurt so yeah I'm so glad that we've achieved that. So thank you so much for the people that have subscribed to me. Literally it does mean a lot let's hope for 2021 we hit 1000 so you know that's the goal can we can we achieve that i hope so which is why i need you to subscribe to my channel in today's video i'm going to test out a new fenty beauty pro filter soft matte powder foundation i've been eager to try this i do get really oily skin especially throughout the day my oils do seep through and then my foundation will move or transfer no matter how much i set it in the morning because i'm speaking when I go to work I, I do my makeup usually around about seven half seven in the morning and then I don't finish work till six o'clock so by the end yeah my makeup is pretty much off so no matter how much I set my face use really good setting spray delve into skincare all of that it's just it's just my skin like that's what happens I know I'm never going to be able to stop it but a powder foundation might prolong it for that little bit more so I'm really keen to try this so I got this in the 150 and it looks like it will match but we'll see so I thought we'll do a little bit of prepping first and then we'll put the foundation on so first of all to prep my skin i've got my little trolley next to me which i'm going to do a video of what's in my trolley because i set it out dead nice i'm just going to use the micellar cleansing water uh this is for combination and oily skin first of all just to cleanse my um face i did wash it this morning but a few hours ago And then I'm just going to take the Body Shop Seaweed Oil Balancing Toner. This is basically on its way out. It's literally up to there. So I'm glad that I've actually used something up because oh, it takes me ages to use things up. And for some reason, I don't really buy skincare that much, but I seem to have accumulated a lot of skincare recently, which I might do a skincare inventory if anyone's keen, because obviously, I don't know if you know, but... I'm trying to do like a project pan and I know that I won't be able to get through everything but I just want to see how much I can use throughout the year and only buy essential things rather than constantly buying new makeup, new skincare and stuff like that when I don't actually need it because I've got like 10 mascaras. Why am I going to buy another mascara? Do you know what I mean? I have got a makeup inventory coming up. I'm going to finish filming that today. I counted everything last night and ooh, there's a lot. So yeah, I've got a few of those type of videos coming up which I think January is the perfect time to do like start of the year go through everything see what i've got um, and see how much i can use and then yeah so i was thinking of maybe doing a skincare one because i've got like multiple toners multiple cleansers multiple moisturizers and things like that so i actually want to see what i've got so then i know what not to buy and then i can use it up in the right order rather than always bit and bobbing and then i'm going to apply the for the elemis pro collagen marine cream i absolutely love this cream it's very very hydrating but as you can see my skin's not the best at the moment it's quite blemishy and I think it's because of all the crap I've been eating on Christmas New Year so I have been eating good the past couple of days I just need to drink more water and I'm also going to use the LMS Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask which looks like that it's just a sample size but it's actually lasted me for like six weeks so far and I use it every day but I only use a small amount because that's what I need. Now I'm just going to spritz my face with the Pixie Glow Mist. This I got in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar and I absolutely love it. And I'm also going to apply my absolute favourite so the Lano Lip 101 Ointment. It's just so nice. And then I'm just going to let that sink in for a little bit before I start with the primer. So this Fenty Foundations, let's see what it says. 
I bought this from Boots and now paid £27 for it. So it says that Rihanna loves poreless, blurred looking skin but could never find the perfect powder to satisfy her needs. After three years of perfecting this formula, she developed the ultimate powder that makes skin look skin, not cakey, and works on all skin types and tones. Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation is a perfect filter on the go and Rihanna always has this in her purse. So it sounds more like a, of like a pressed powder rather than foundation powder. I don't think, like my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder that's not a foundation powder is it that's just a pressed powder i think she's included like over 50 shades as well so it's very inclusive you can probably find a shade for everyone that's what fenty is known for fenty is known for their inclusive shade range which is amazing so it says that it's fast flawless and easy long wear light as air no flashback blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish oh so sorry if you can hear the build of it's next door sweat humidity and crease resistance buildable light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered won't settle into fine lines, clogged pores or cake up, reduces the appearance of shine, chic, portable powder compact fits in hand. So it says it does a lot, so we shall see. So let that sink in for a little bit. When I picked up the foundation, I also picked up the primer. So this is the Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Primer, the soft matte one. I've actually used this before. I had the full size when it first came out and I loved it. Yeah, like I said, I got this in the shade 150, so I think that's like light with neutral undertones. This is what the compact looks like. It is very chic and easy to carry around with you if needs be. Open it up, we've got the compact there. So this is my shade. You've got a nice size mirror up here. And you lift this up and you've also got another mirror and then you've got the sponge. So I don't usually use the sponge applicator, but I've seen a few people, they just it off and done it like that. Right, so next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna conceal and use a liquidy sort of blush and bronzer, mainly because I don't know how it's gonna be putting liquids over powders. Right, so now we can go in with the foundation. Yeah, I just put a bit on my sponge and I'm just gonna So I've done half my face because I just want to have a look. This is, I don't know if you can really tell, but this is the side that I've added the power the foundation. And this is the side of no foundation. And you can see that you can see there's a bit of coverage on this side. It has definitely mattified it, that's for sure. This side is very matte now, which is what I like. There's still a little bit of the sheen here from my um matchstick. But, and you can see like a line here from where I've Got no powder to powder and you can see the difference so it says it's buildable i think i would need a bit more coverage but perhaps i could just use more concealer beforehand but it does give it quite a natural finish but see here you can see here my blemishes through it so it's not full coverage but it says it's buildable so i'm going to go in with a sponge this i mean a brush this is a spectrum b01 brush to see and i'll do the other side see what's better i think this shade was a really good match for me right so we are all powdered. You can still see a bit of my contour in there. I think it might be quicker with the brush, but I think it gives off the same sort of effect. It just looks healthy. My skin looks a lot more healthy. It looks like skin, but healthy. I actually really like it. Like, my skin's matte to touch. I just see a few of my blemishes here, but I'll just use a bit more concealer next time. Because even if I build it up, you can still see it. It's my skin up close and personal. I don't think it looks that bad to be fair. I think it looks quite nice. No mess, nice and easy. It's giving me a nice glow, like a nice filter to my skin. Basically, I can still see the blush, I can still see the contour. I actually quite like that. I like this, the finish it's given my skin. It's giving it a matte finish, but a soft glow within still if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but that's what I feel like it's doing so I finish off the rest of my face I can't be asked to put lashes on I can't, 
can't be asked to put lashes on if I'm honest and apologies for that banging but I am going to now apply the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream in Cookie Jar so they didn't have Honey Waffles the one that I wanted which is more of a nudie shade so I've only got this one which is like a chocolatey brown so I'm going to apply it I love the original Gloss Bomb so I'm keen to see what this is going to be like it doesn't smell of anything it smells like tequila actually It's very, very lightweight on the lip. It's a nice colour payoff. So then that's just one dunk. Very glossy. And then transferred it on my lips, which is a good sign. Ooh, yeah. I quite like that. Nice gloss. I hope they come out of more shades. So overall, I think my skin's looking pretty nice, if I say so myself. It's looking very natural, glowy, like I've just been on holiday and I've got that nice summer glow. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving the look of this foundation so far. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear it today. So today is, yeah, it's currently 22. So I'm going to wear this all day then I'm going to check in later on and just see what it looks like then and see how it wears on my face. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's going to wear for a while because if so, then this will be my new favourite foundation. Um, because it's still easy to apply and yeah I just love the finish of it. I also love the look of the lip cream. It's a really really nice shade, a nice formula. Just It just feels like the other one but less sticky than the normal gloss bomb but I just want to get some more neutral everyday shade to wear with this one because I think this one's more of a older look for someone of my complexion. So I really really love this foundation, love the lip cream and I shall check in with you later on and let's hope and pray that this foundation works. So just checking in and it's now 10 past 7, five and a half hours and it doesn't look bad to be fair, it's sitting into my fine lines here but that's just inevitable. Um, you can sort of see my blemishes a little bit more on my chin. Overall I don't think it's bad, like I'm a little bit oily here but it doesn't feel that oily to touch. still look quite healthy and glowy. I still look like I've got some makeup on. I can still see like, my cheek makeup, which is usually rubbed off by now. Yeah, I think it's actually all right. Not bad, I've not touched anything up. I've not sprayed my face anymore or anything like that. And I, obviously, I didn't use any setting powder. I literally just used the foundation, bronzer, and blush for powder. Yeah, overall, I actually really like it. So I will be testing this out more. I'm going to um, wear it to work and see what it's like throughout work because I'm always touching my face at work and sitting at a desk in an office. Overall I think it looks fine. I actually really like this foundation. I definitely definitely would recommend it if you have a similar sort of complexion to me. 150 shade was the perfect match and yeah that's my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've not done a foundation review on my channel before so this is quite an exciting one to do. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've tried this foundation and if you like these sort of testing foundation videos. If there's any foundations that you want me to test let me know um, and I'll try and do that for you. Yeah I hope you're all staying safe, think positive and hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Bye!